Kabam, we're back. Shannon Sharp review. 99 overall powered up. All the way up. The abilities are here. Four of them. He gets what you want. Besides like a human joystick. Guy that's going to juke and spin for you. Nothing like that. He ain't going to do that for you now. But he'll do some other things. I'm going to break them down. If you guys want reviews, hit the like button. I do appreciate every like. Every person you share with. All your friends you tell. Or retweet on Twitter. I do appreciate. My link to my Twitter and Twitch is in the description. Shannon Sharp has Matchup Nightmare. Which you're going to need. Um, love that ability. Um, there's a bunch of them guys here. As you look through those. And I'm going to tell you, Sharp is going to be a little bit different than some other tight ends. Um, when you're running with him, he is not going to feel so good. He is going to feel like a tight end. Um, and now with all the other, you know, players getting him a joystick right now, it, it kind of is a letdown for the most part. But for the review... He's not that slow, but man, there's so many players right now with higher speed and stuff, right? 93 speed. Man, that's kind of good luck going like running past people because he's minus six speed. You can catch people in some positions and take off if they're like a, like say if you split a cover two zone down the middle then you kind of have an angle because they got to cut an angle to catch you. And you're kind of just straight ahead. Something like that. But for the most part, guys, he's not going to get away from too many people because he can't spin or juke. So, Shannon Sharp, though, as far as, like, breaking tackles and stuff, he feels good. Catching traffic, he's going to be in game perfect for what the game lets you do. He's going to be reliable third or fourth down across the middle so as you see i'm trying to show you you can't really zigzag with them so moves are going to be a b guys stay away from it basically you can try to truck he does break a couple tackles by himself and here like i said you can split a defense and go for it but man i'm lucky he took his own player out there he probably would have got me I don't know what was going on there. Um, route running is A my C makes a spec catch there. He, as far as catching guys, he's going to be top tier. As uh, far as moves, he's not going to be. And as far as route running, he feels good because he does have abilities to help him. And so don't, as far as getting separation, he's going to be fine. Uh, obviously, you get better separation and more speed. Run blocking is a B plus. He does get more blocks than other average tight ends for sure. Uh, carries an A minus. I went back to watch the film. I got eight hit sticks and he didn't fumble, which doesn't mean he won't fumble, but it's, he didn't have a high percentage. Overall, he's an A minus. If you guys need a second tight end just to go across the middle, the two tight end set, go pick him up. See right there, that's a pretty crazy animation. Always help others for no reason, guys, is the message of the video. Who would I rather have, him or Gronk? I would go Gronk. That 6'6 frame does help a little more for spec catches for sure. They kind of box out this year. He has better run blocking as well. Uh, so yeah, I would go Gronk because Gronk is not going to be a speedster anyways. And really not Shannon Sharp is either. So Gronk for that. Him or Gonzo. That's pretty close. If you're going to be running more, probably a little sharp. But... If you're going to do more spec catches, 6'5", that frame does help. Um, yeah, you can kind of flip a coin. But for the most part, I would say, wow, I have to say Gonzo's a little better. Um, but in the last comparison is Waller. Waller is going to be more of a um, throw it up to him deep balls and spec catches but anyways guys let me know what you want to see in the next video uh there's not much content coming out right now and any suggestions i do appreciate it 
and I appreciate you sharing with your friends and telling them about the channel. It does help me grow and it does help me keep doing reviews. Please uh, be kind to others, encourage each other, help each other, and you know, as a community guys, we can grow stronger if we don't fight and we just kind of encourage each other more and just really um say positive things, not negative things. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one.